When you think of the publishing world, New York City or Los Angeles might come to mind. But there's an international music magazine respected by both professionals and hobbyists created in the corridor. Our October issue is our biggest one and we just finished that. It's like 280 pages almost. The newest edition of Premier Guitar is all about pedals. Something you may not relate to, but consider who reads Premier Guitar. Hardcore guitarists are really into gear. Like they love their guitars and their amps and their pedals and they're obsessed with it. At least most of our readers are. Readers who can be found all over the world. Mexico is very strong. Venezuela actually is very strong. Media investor Patricia Ehrenberger bought the magazine with her husband in 2005 when it was called Musicians Hotline, based in Fort Dodge. They moved the operation to Marion and two years later changed the name. Premier Guitar was one of the first to convert to a digital magazine and then of course there's the website. What we really feel is the reader will read and consume information where they want. We put all of our content on all of our platforms and let the reader decide how they want to take a hold of that information and, and use it. Each issue of the high quality print magazine features about a dozen gear reviews, several artist interviews, 15 regular columns, and new this year, a few musical charts. Online, there are lessons and a groundbreaking video series called Rig Rundowns. This is my uh, 59 reissue, Les Paul. And Premier reporters go backstage before performances and talk with guitar and bass players who reveal the gear they use on the road. I wanted to get a bit of a boost for solos, but I also want, uh, I really like the chugging sound. Hammond says this series is world famous. You've got about 4,000 videos up there, 330,000 subscribers, and a Today, we have about 140 million views of our videos. We're just plugging the Han directly into a uh, Fender Supersonic. Most of the videos are produced at Premier Guitar's Nashville offices. They also have employees in California, Illinois, Wisconsin, and New Hampshire. Still photography, for the most part, is done in Marion, and the art director shares the credit for the mag's clean, modern look. Kristen, God bless her, my photo editor, does an amazing job and um, Ben with handling a lot of the digital stuff and he does help me out on print when I'm at deadline for that. Marion is also where manufacturers send their newest equipment to have it reviewed. There is a lot that goes on in Marion in collaboration with Premier Satellite locations and the magazine's advertisers seem to like what they see. And we have something like 43 percent of the market share which is about double our closest competitor and these Magazines, I'm not going to name them, but they've been around 40, 50 years. Our competitors are in New York City. I know their overhead prices are way high compared to ours, so it keeps us competitive in the market and helps us really do the things that we want to do. And you can find good people in Marion, Iowa. Premier Guitar's print publication has a circulation of about 25,000, but the website attracts up to a million and a half unique visitors each month. There's also an app for that, and you can find links under this story at cbs2iowa.com.